Hi guys, my name is Martin. Uh, welcome to my new channel, For the Love of MTG. Uh, I do apologise about the light, it is the evening here. Uh, it was the only time I could get to do this video. Um, just a bit of an introductory uh, video today, uh, just about my channel. Okay, uh, so first of all, just a little bit of background. Um, like I said, my name is Martin. Um, I've been collecting Magic the Gathering from Wizard of the Coast uh, since around 2016-2017. Uh, um, really didn't know anything about Magic the Gathering. Um, back in school, I was a big, not really big, but uh, I was a Pokemon fan. Everybody knew Pokemon, everybody watched Pokemon, etc, etc. Anyway, as, as I became an adult, I got more into like collectible hobbies and sci-fi, love Star Trek, all, all that good stuff. Um, so I never really heard of Magic the Gathering, um, until I started playing D&D, &D. um, now Magic the Gathering was weird to me, it, I, I just can't believe I never really heard of it, but, um, I was intrigued and I think I bought a couple of booster packs of Isalan, which was the set at the time when I started, um, cracked them open, um, I saw the creatures, I saw everything in it. I just thought, wow, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, um, as a one, a collectible game, and two, a game I could play with my friends, which was uh, hopefully as as much as possible. So, you know, as as we all do, I uh, I, I I bought the Magic the Gathering deck builder toolkit first. Um, which yes, I understand is not the best Wizard of the Coast product to buy, but it started me off well. It got me how to build decks, etc., etc., as well as the use of YouTube um, with certain people watching different formats. Um, I'm a big commander, my fan, commander fan myself, but I do love other formats. Um, also, I like to watch The Professor, and if you're a big fan of MTG, I'm, uh, I bet you do too. So, going on from there, other things I started looking about collecting were the booster pack cards, um, the booster pack like cardboard sleeves. So I went from them, did the Ixalan, the Rivals of Ixalan. Um, sorry, like I said, sorry about the light. So got a couple of them. Really, I went on from then and started collecting a lot of um, things from Ikoria. And basically all, all the modern stuff. So back to the point. The reason why I started this channel. Now, as my collection grew, uh, obviously it took a while, but as my collection grew, I tried to find a way of putting it all together. I'm a bit of a clean freak when it comes to sorting things. I sorting things by order, which is which is great when it comes to magic, because of things like the colour, obviously the number system as well. So once I found a database, I've been on a number of websites to put my collection into. Um, when I finally got to put in my collection in, I started to see the older sets from Magic the Gathering. So. I was really intrigued at these older sets, um, something I've never seen, didn't know anything about, so started like doing a bit of more research into them. I realised that I liked a lot of the artwork um, of the older sets, um, all the way back to 94, uh, sorry not just 94, but from the beginning basically, not just, you know, the usual uh, Black Lotus, etc, etc. A lot of the other cards as well, so once again, this is the reason for the channel. Now. What it was that drew me to Magic the Gathering wasn't the creatures, it wasn't the decks, it wasn't kicking people's asses, it wasn't uh, the mechanics of the game, okay? It, it it was the true fact of the artwork of the cards. Um, obviously, Ixalan being my first set, it was pirates, dinosaurs, yeah, okay, vampires, not the biggest things I'm into, but the artwork was fantastic. I mean, a lot of like the pirate cards, you know, like uh, skulking around, you know, like always looking shifty and dodgy, things like that. It was mixing with the D&D kind of thing. I really enjoyed it. And uh, when I started looking at the older sets, I realised, actually, I really like these. Like, the artwork was fantastic. Obviously, not having any, I started to collect some. So, back around again. So, the reason for this channel is, and I'm trying to keep this as short as possible, it's, I want this channel to be about the artwork of the older Magic the Gathering. I mean, there's not up to a certain date. I mean, it's not going to be up to a certain set or anything like that. It's just something that I enjoy, something I look at and I think, wow, that's really good. I really like the artwork for this reason, that reason. 
everybody's got their own opinion on stuff. This is going to be my opinion on what I like. Obviously, you know, if anybody else thinks, hey, what about this card? You know, what about this land from this set? Something like this. Just have a look. Being on Reddit myself, part of the MTG group, do you know what I mean? So I've had a couple of people on there saying about artwork and stuff like that. And it's really spurred me on to do this channel. It's been in the back of my mind for a while. So a good example is, obviously, we've seen the modern cards. We've seen the graphics on the modern cards. They're fantastic. But with the modern graphics in the cards, when I look at them, I, it always reminds me of, of a game cutscene. Like... You know, you know when you go between levels and there's always a cutscene, like, the artwork's fantastic, you know, diff different styles for different games, but that's just what it reminds me of. When it comes to the older Magic the Gathering, they remind me of, like, little paintings or hand-drawn pictures on cards. Yes, okay, obviously they're all printed, but even when they were printed, they still look hand-drawn to me sometimes. So a couple examples is, like, Ray's Dead. Just something so simple, but the artwork is fantastic. Obviously, yes, it's a, it's a skull and it's, you know, it's it, it's the darker side. I'm not saying the darker side of MTG, but um, there's another one. Uh, Tundra Wolves um, is, is, is a good example of that. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I know the camera's not fantastic, but... To me, that's... Um, it's like a drawn picture. It's... It just drew me in. There's, there, there was just something about it, something about it that um, just got me in. So that's the reason for this channel. So the channel is, I'm going to take a Magic the Gathering card on each video. Um, we're going to look at the artwork. We're going to look at the artwork, who it's by, um, especially like the older sets and obviously getting people from the outsides of Wizards of the Coast to come in um, and, and, and to do artwork. Now, these people that have done this artwork have also done other things. They've, they've done artwork for sci-fi, for games, etc, etc. So this is something we're going to discuss. They're not going to be long videos, but it's going to be something that... It's about something I enjoy, and I'm hoping a lot of other Magic the Gallery collectors and players do enjoy as well. See, a lot of these cards that you see on Commander videos and other videos, you, you never get seen because, one, they may have... Um, something broken in the card. I mean, the mana cost may, might be a lot higher than what the modern version of the card is. You know, why would you play a five mana card when you know that you can get the three mana in a more of a modern card? So you, you're obviously not going to play that card unless you, unless you really want to and you really love that card. So so for reasons like that, there's a lot of cards that get overlooked, um, I've noticed. Um, they never get seen on YouTube unless you're a dedicated video or, or, or a dedicated channel to a lot of the older cards. Um, obviously, there's another thing about the value. I mean, a lot of these cards are, that, that I like the artwork of are, are worth like, I'm obviously I'm, in, I'm from England, so like 10p, um, like 20, 20p, it's, it's, it's crazy. But even though the cards are not used, because they might not be strong, it, you know, exactly like Tundra Wolves, you know, it's why it's it's a one mana, it's a one one. It's got first strike though. It's a good card. It's not a bad card, but it might not suit everybody. And it's not got crazy strength, so, you know, it may be worth 10p. But it's sometimes, for me, it's just about the artwork. So, anyway, to wrap this up, like I said, it's just a bit of an introductory video. Um, like I said, my name is Martin. This is something I'm going to be looking into. If you're interested, feel free to look at my videos. And uh, I will go from there. So, have a good evening, all. Take care.